a boy who knows his anime and I'm not too fond of his Skype avatar. I don't like to see those girls kiss. The last, Cody, is uh, not... Well, there he is. He called back. Cody! Uh... I don't like... Uh... Why you call me with that kind of Skype image? Uh, I don't want to see that. You know what you're getting. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> I do. <laughs> so, my dear friend Cody, you're you're a big fan of Misato san She's on she's on camera right now. Well, it's she goes like third place on my third list, but yeah, sure. Okay, all right. To be fair, um, we don't have to rank imaginary uh, women, but uh, well, they're real. They're real. They're, well. <laughs> uh, digital. Let's, uh, have you heard anything about this game? Have you ever played this game? Uh, this was the first game I ever streamed when I started streaming. Okay, you streamed it, right. I thought maybe, does does Jake have a copy of this too? He, he has a copy. Uh, but I remember, uh, that stream he was on with me, and that's how he learned about that game, and that's how he got it. Yeah, I, uh, I learned about it through you guys as well. I had, I should say, I learned that you could actually get a copy I uh was never really sure like how to pick this up and it was always something I never thought I'd get I I had a copy of girlfriend of Sele that was on PlayStation it was a I mean, Japanese uh, import but yeah, that was I, so hard to play I, I want to get I want to get those because uh, I, I don't have all of the Ava games I don't have any of the Saturn shit and I want to I want to get those even though they're kind of bad but uh, they're like so cheap, like all Japanese Saturn games. They're like two bucks. So I want to get a Japanese Saturn so I can just start importing Saturn games. Yeah, dude, get a Saturn. That, that's uh that's one of Eric's favorite consoles. is the Sega Saturn, I think. Got that fighting Vipers. I uh, I don't think I've ever played one, but I've always been obsessed with. I had heard, and I don't know if it's a hundred percent true that. Resident Evil was first released on the Saturn, and then they put it on PlayStation 1. But I think that's not true. I just think that there's a really rare, like, Saturn version out there. Maybe it's not that rare. It's just... It's got funky, funky box art. I mean, I I know that it was it is on Saturn, but yeah, I don't know if it was on Saturn before PlayStation. I think it was around the same time, though. I don't think it was that far apart. Yeah. The first, uh, the first time I ever played Resident Evil was it, it was in that giant box. Really? I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> oh man, I, am I like out of AT field? How do you uh, when you play this? It seems that you have an attack, a block button. As I cowardly hide from statues. So in the first few fights, it, it intentionally makes the controls bad because it's like you're Shinji. You don't know how to pilot this thing. Yeah. So it, it kind of sucks, but the later stuff gets a little bit easier because it actually the controls start getting good. Okay. It's a, it's a. It's I mean, a I seem to be lasting choice. a lot longer by using my AT field, but my health I feel like is is that up in the top left corner? That's my health. Yeah, that's your health. Where's my AT field uh, levels, or can I just do it limitlessly? Uh, I'm, out. I'm pretty sure it's pretty limitless. But yeah, the goal in this is you want to get, you want to do enough attacks to the point where he'll, will Satchel will grab you and you'll go berserk. Go berserk. That's what we were having happen before. Oh, I seem to be unconscious. So I need him. I need to attack more so that he will grab me. In fact. Yeah, you, you you're gonna want to grab him. Uh, a good amount because I think that's what really triggers it is once you gotta kind of grab him and throw him. Gotcha. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh fuck! Grab uh, them. Do you uh, do you grab with a different button than the attack, or it seems to just be attack? I think, it's, I think you push two buttons at the same time. Yeah, let's check the options menu because I don't remember which. Oh two yeah, is. you know what? There is this. There's like an AT field and something else button. Uh, but speaking of Ava games importing, I actually just recently imported an Ava game. Which uh, which game did you import? I got Petite Ava on Nintendo DS. Oh, you know what? Uh, that, yeah, tell me about that. It is a cute as fuck minigame based Ava game. It's, it's not, it's not one of the pachinko 
DS games? Uh, no, this ain't what you go on. It's oh, it's okay. all just a bunch of like you play Shinji through his day to day school life, where you go to school with Unit One, uh, who is your senpai and your school bully. Yes. And oh, you go. You Unit know, One is as well. I knew he was the bully just from the uh, petite animations, but he's also your senpai. He's the senpai. Oh wow. Um, and you you go around pretty much you go around your school like and do different mini games, and there's there's like five or six mini game types, and it's just pretty much all just stuff on the touch screen. Most of it is easy to understand. Then you kind of get in the later part of the game, and then there's Japanese word problems. Oh, that so one's like, not, okay, there's not like, so there's easy. Like a few, there's a few mini games that are hard to like, you, you can't really do unless you understand Japanese. But uh, the game's actually good because if you fail a mini game three times in a row, it'll just progress you on to the next one. It'll oh, just that's, say, okay, that's you, cool. You, you'll you just play the next one. It's really fun and super cute. That Jet Alone Chan. There's a Jet Alone. Uh, Representation in there? Oh yeah, Jet alone changed. And, is uh, uh yeah, in love with her. Are, who's in love with her? You know one. Oh <laughs> why why bring back the Jet alone character? It's That's just funny. This, it's just this like girl with like so she has like uh she has like twin tails, but it's like Jet alone's arms. Yeah. Oh god. It's, it's great. I love it. This game is, is great, it's super fun. I love is it. Misato your teacher? Yeah, Misato's teacher, Gendo's the principal. Okay, cool. Just like the show. That's cool. Yeah, it, it's um, it's actually really funny. Is so this isn't like the two D style of uh, Petite Ava, not like the three D CG style. Yeah. And it's like I play this game and I'm like, fuck, why wasn't the fucking shorts in this style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, I I, I want to check that out. You should uh, you should upload some pictures to Twitter. Yeah, I will. Actually, like uh, when I was gonna when I was actually buying this game, I looked online. And there's nothing for this. There's like the there's like one article about like, oh, like in 2007, oh, this is coming out. There's I no read videos. about it in, I found out about this game by going to a Japanese supermarket, and I used to always just go into all their magazine section and read their game magazines. Uh -huh. And I saw that they're making an EVA N64 game, and I was like, holy shit, they, they or they had made it. Mm -hmm. No, no, I must have been in high school, I must have already known about EVA, and N64 was still releasing games. Mm -hmm. My times tables get a little fucked up. Yeah, it must have, because at Mitsua, why would they have had... That was when I was in high school, and I didn't have N64, so I don't... But I had a PlayStation, and PS2 was already out by that time. Well, towards the end... Of, no, no, PlayStation 2 came out in what, 2000? 2001. Am I limitless now that I'm Berserk? Uh, like, what do you mean? I mean, I seem to have gone Berserk, uh... I can no longer see Shinji's face, but the floating soul of my mother, I assume. Yes. Oh, he's just snapped my arm. Gotta keep grabbing him. Keep uh, throwing him. I don't know if there's a grab. I've never successfully oh. grabbed or thrown. Um, I think I've in hit. berserk mode, just do a normal combo and you'll just kick him. Just keep pressing the same attack button. Oh, room. yeah, I just press them both at the same time there. That worked. Boom. Boom, Boom look at you that. got this. We're taking down Satchel. Well, thanks, Cody. Feel free uh, to, to call in again if you see me getting stuck and you know what to do. Okay, once you get to Magma Diver, have fun. Oh, fuck. Goodbye. That's, uh, that sounded ominous. Magma Diver was not a particularly uh, enjoyable episode of the show. I wonder if it would make for an interesting level. <laughs> hey, Cody's call back in. I'm going to take it and see if he knows what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Thanks for calling, right, Rob. No problem, man. Good luck. All right, later. Cody! Cody, I can't figure this out. You need help. I need you help, need man. To stop the angels. Oh, now I'm... See, do you want to go into the four-minute reserve, like, right away? Uh, you... Okay, so you have to get at least thrown by him. So there has to be that throw where it's like he throws you on the mountain, so it's like the show. Yeah. And you get the knife. Right here. So what you need to do is you have to, the only way to damage him really at all is you have to press A and B at the same time to do a special attack on him when you're real close. Okay. You just kind of have to figure out that timing so it's like he won't swing and hit you or grab you. 
but there's a point where it's like you can go in and you can stab him his core with your progressive knife. Do you want to? Do I want to be trying? Because I was trying to get in there and rip his AT field open. You don't necessarily have to do that. I mean, like that's optional and it's like that's helpful, so, but like what you need to worry about. Is I just did it, to, Cody. Is there like, my boy, my dear sweet boy? I just did it. So you is there any? Field? What? You ripped his AT field? No, no, I did that special stabby. Uh, oh fuck! But he whipped me in the face. Oh. Um. This now. Is do oh man yeah what is really the purpose of the at field is that just like a shield that you can throw up for a little temporary thing Ooh, yeah. i blocked that getting close double tap double tap now he's got an at field up because i'm do you, do you are you supposed to rapidly press stuff or you just press it once and then it does its thing uh for like normal attacks for, i don't know at field seems to be as long as i press it it'll just stay here uh yeah oh like now it. and now i'm ripping it oh wow See, now you're doing good. Uh, but, uh, so after this fight, you're gonna have to get used to new controls, so have fun. I guess, man. Thanks, brother. He's helping out. He helped me, and Hughes on.